In-person classes at the University of Minnesota returned this week, but a number of coronavirus safety protocols are still being considered. One of those is to potentially move spring break from the week of March 8th to sometime in April. John Lordson shows us why the U is considering the move. It's weird and it's also kind of now normal. A return to campus doesn't necessarily mean a return to normalcy for U of M students and staff. I would have never guessed when I came to campus four years ago that this would be what it would be like. With masks and guidelines in place, fall semester is different and spring semester is fluid. Right now, spring break is scheduled for the week of March 8th, but there's a proposal to push it back a month or more to the week of April 5th or April 12th. By pushing it back, there would only be a few weeks left in the semester after an April spring break, and students could finish the semester with remote learning. I think it's a good idea to not release students out to Florida or whatever and then have them coming back, bringing in germs from elsewhere. It's a good idea to do that, and we don't have people coming back from break. It's similar to what they'll do for fall semester, with in person classes ending at Thanksgiving, and as of now, resuming in January. Through September 24th, there have been 190 COVID positive cases at the Twin Cities campus. As they look at ways to manage those numbers, students will need to be flexible, and that may mean holding off on any spring break plans. Usually, that would be when I take a vacation, uh, but I didn't expect to take a vacation this year anyway. At the University of Minnesota, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The U of M Board of Regents is expected to discuss moving spring break on October 8th. It's possible they could take action that day as well.